Hello dear learners today we are going to talk about the beta lactam antibiotic one of the beta lactam antibiotic amongst all is class penicillin and the member is penicillin G penicillin G as we all know it is also known as benzyl penicillin so we are going to talk about in today's video about the structure of benzyl penicillin that is penicillin G its property stability storage actions and uses about the official preparations and brand names so to start with the structure of benzyl penicillin as you can see here this is the general structure of penicillin which we have already seen in the introductory part of the beta lactam antibiotics but then to just a revision just to know about the substituent uh, of penicillin G which is present this is beta lactam ring then this is 5 member thiazolidin ring and this is acyl side chain this is 3 carboxylic group acyl side chain wherein this CONH CONH is amide and this RCO if you will consider this is acyl so when this R will be substituted by various substituents the penicillin members will change now as far as the penicillin G is concerned as you can see here they have given where R is equal to benzyl that is CH2 and benzene ring so it is benzyl that is the reason it is also called as benzyl penicillin penicillin G why because penicillin G is having a substituent at acyl side chain as benzyl so this as you can see here I have highlighted with the pink colored portion this is benzene ring and this is CH2 which is attached with the acyl side chain which is present on the beta lactam ring of penicillins so it is penicillin G as far as the IUPAC is concerned the suffix is penicillinic acid this only leaving behind this substituent so this is 6 phenyl that means the numbering we have already seen according to the numbering this is 1 2 3 4 5 sixth position sixth position of the general structure uh, here this if you will consider so this is ch2 co nh as we have discussed co nh is amide this CH2 when it is attached with amide it is acetamide so it is acetamido and two acetamido this ring is present which is phenyl ring so according to the IUPAC it is 6 that means 6th position of beta lactam ring 6 phenyl acetamido this is acetamido CONH is amide and acetyl is CH2 CONH so it is 6 phenyl acetamido penicillinic acid the suffix which is common in every penicillin's name so this was with structure and IUPAC of penicillin G coming towards the next part that is properties of penicillin G in penicillin G properties if you will see generally it exists in the sodium salt form so the sodium salt of benzyl penicillin is white in color and it is crystalline in nature along with these properties it is hygroscopic also hygroscopic is which absorbs the moisture from the atmosphere so since it is hygroscopic in nature again moisture content it depends on the moisture content that how much stable it is so according to the property of hygroscopicity we are going to talk about the stability also in next point so whereas the properties are concerned it is white crystalline powder which is hygroscopic in nature and it is having a characteristic odor coming towards the solubility it is soluble in water but it is practically insoluble in fixed oils and liquid paraffin now stability as we have discussed in the properties uh, on the virtue of the nature of hygroscopicity it depends the stability depends on the moisture content if the moisture content of penicillin G is less than 0.5 percent we can store this penicillin G for two to three years without losing any potency or without any changes in the potency at room temperature but if the moisture content is more than 0.5 percent the storage become difficult and as far as the aqueous solutions are concerned 
aqueous solution when it comes to uh, comes to the storage of aqueous solutions uh, they should be buffered at ph 6 to 7 and they should be kept at lower temperatures and whereas the salt form is concerned the moisture content of the salt form should be less than 0.5% and storage uh, of temperature the airtight container uh, airtight container should be there wherein the temperature should not exceed 30 degrees so this is with respect to the property stability and storage as you all know penicillin g complete drug is important from the exam point of view uh, complete note on penicillin g or benzyl penicillin is asked in the exam so we are supposed to start with the structure iupac property stability storage uses and so on so this was with property stability and storage coming towards the actions and uses as you can see here this is the spectrum of penicillin g now as we have seen in our earlier video of beta lactam antibiotics the uses of beta lactam antibiotics we have learned one trick the trick was like uh, to remember the microorganisms from gram negative group bacteria as they are like uh, this james james was the trick and for gram positive sac was the trick so we had talked about the sacs and james so the sacs and james are going to be used over here now when we are going to talk about the uses of penicillin g so as you can see here in the diagram of the spectrum this is streptococcus streptococcus species of pneumonia pyogenes viridans etc so when it comes to gram positive see here you can see gram positive cocci gram positive bacilli that is bacillus anthracis and corynebacterium diphtheriae and gram negative when they are concerned and anaerobic etc so gram positive was sac sac me s do hai c do hai and a is in between so sac was streptomyces and staphylococcus species a is actinomyces and c is for clostridium and corynebacterium so you will find all these names over here see streptococcus species all these are streptococcus like streptococcus pneumoniae streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus viridans and c was for corynebacterium diphtheriae so it is again corynebacterium is here then next t was for clostridium so again see here clostridium perfringens is here then next was like this bacillus anthracis and corynebacterium we have already covered then when it was with respect to gram negative it was james so james me g was gonorrhoeae m was meningitis so this meningitis so this is nisseria species gonorrhoea and meningitis so all these microorganisms so the infections which are caused by all these bacteria it is used then spirochetes this is treponema uh, species treponema pallidum syphilis which is the very famous uh, sexually transmitted disease which we all know and we have studied in first year also again nisseria gonorrhoea causes gonorrhoea which we have studied in first year so these diseases so these microorganism this bacteria specifically these are causing these diseases like gonorrhea syphilis then uh, pneumonia is causing pneumococcal pneumonia so streptococcus species which is responsible for causing pneumonia so all these infections against all these infections benzyl penicillin that is penicillin g is used and along with this major focus they are again targeting these conditions the associated conditions uh, we will see one by one there are many so actinomycosis again it is a infectious disease only which spread from one part of the body to another part and it is majorly concerned with the skin and deeper areas of the body so this is next is ac acute rheumatic fever in case of acute rheumatic fever again it is a streptococcal species infection so streptococcal we have seen in the diagram see this is streptococcus species so acute rheumatic fever now this acute rheumatic fever which is a streptococcal infection is targeting generally joints blood vessels hearts etc then anthrax again it is a um, bacterial infection which is caused due to gram positive bacillus anthracis which is a infectious disease again Uh, you can see here various blood stream infections botulism botulism is again a bacterial infection which is caused due to clostridium botulism 
ड्यू टू द टॉक्सिन रिलीज बाय दिस क्रॉसिडियम बोटोलिनम इट इज अ इलनेस कॉस्ट दैट इज बोटोलिज्म डिप्टेरिया अगेन इट्स अ इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज विच वी ऑल नो विच इज कॉज ड्यू टू कोरिनो बैक्टीरियम डिप्टेरिए देन एम्पीमा एम्पीमा इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पायोथॉक्स विच इज जनरली अ पस्ट फॉर्मड इन द लंग सो अगेन इट इज इन्फेक्शियस देन एंडोकार्डाइटिस कंडीशंस लाइक एंडोकार्डाइटिस एज द नेम सजेस्ट एंडोकार्डाइटिस सो इट इज द इट इज अबाउट द इनर लाइनिंग्स ऑफ द हार्ट एंड द इन्फ्लोमेशन ऑफ द इनर लाइनिंग्स ऑफ द हार्ट देन दिस फ्यूजो स्पाइरोचेट्स नाउ इन डायग्राम वी हैव सीन दिस स्पाइरोचेट्स ओके सो दीज आर अगेन एक्टिव अगेन्स्ट द स्पाइरोचेट्स ऑल्सो सो ट्रेपोनेमा पैलिडम विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कॉजिंग सिफिलिस एज वेल एज दिस फ्यूजो this fuso spirochetes which are responsible for causing trench mouth uh, generally this is seen in the soldiers uh, the ulcers gum ulcers are there then gas gangrene you very well know which is a very famous condition like gas gangrene caused due to clostridium perfringens and in diagram c we have seen clostridium perfringens okay so this is active against infections caused by clostridium perfringens also which is nothing but gas gangrene so you should know all the conditions which are caused due to these respective bacteria so gas gangrene as the name suggests it is release of toxins and that toxins will release the gas so it is known uh, known by the name gas gangrene then uh, gonococcal infections here in image also we have seen these are the gonococcal infections okay gonorrhea then gram negative infections so these are the gram negative again nisseria gonorrhea meningitis infections okay then meningitis again this nisseria species only meningococcal meningitis same okay pericarditis as was endocarditis it is about the pericarditis like uh, endocarditis it was the inner lining of the heart okay then pneumonia uh, in diagram you have seen this pneumonia which is caused due to streptococcal species then pericarditis pericarditis like endocarditis it is pericardial sac infection then rat bite fever as the name suggests rat bite it is due to rats bite fever caused and the species is streptobacillus mo moniliformis so this again uh, streptobacillus species streptococcus species then syphilis we have already discussed and tetanus again this tetanus which is commonly known as log uh, log jaw which is caused due to again a toxin and it is uh, symptoms are like very painful muscle contractions are there in case of tetanus and generally it targets the neck and jaw muscles so these are the associated conditions various associated conditions which can be treated by benzyl penicillin or penicillin g and it benzyl penicillin is also used in prophylactic treatment of rheumatic fever again bacterial endocarditis and a granulocytosis which you very well know that is decrease in the number of wbc specifically neutrophils so official preparations uh, it is exist uh, existing in the dosage form injection benzyl penicillin injection which is official in ip as well as bpc and the preparations are salt like sodium penicillin g which is crystalline penicillin in injection only then repository penicillin g injections where, such as like storage penicillin like procaine penicillin g fortified procaine penicillin g and benzathione penicillin g these are various preparations of penicillin since the major route is uh, injectables as you can see here in the image it is either iv or intramuscular here also you can find intramuscular intramuscular then coming towards the last point that is brand names so various brands are available in the market out of which few brands which i have enlisted here are bisilin la then isojet perma pain then benzyl pain pentids is also another brand then bistre pain and sodicilin so these are various brands which are available in the market of penicillin g with this we finish with a detailed note on penicillin g thank you